we've had a few problems with the internet <laughs> again but we are back on the air so welcome one and all to this beautiful connection with the portal of the casa the current is now flowing on this wonderful casa day from the amazingly high vibration of the Casa de Dom Ignacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. And another spectacular day, blue, blue skies, the colour of the Casa and the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary and white fluffy clouds passing slowly by, reminding us of our transformation and that all things pass, all things are impermanent and we're just really passing through the earth one more time we've had many lifetimes before and we're being held in this majestic high vibration of mother nature and from here i can see butterflies flitting around on these incredibly richly colored orange flowers and there's beauty everywhere we are really being held in this gorgeous high vibration of our divine mother earth so wherever you are in the world, relax if you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way. Be open to give and receive. And allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from our heart chakra. Connecting us heart to heart, one family right across the globe. And put a glass of water beside you, this is blessed, and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body, and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes, which is totally necessary for this divine work, we leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, problems, difficulties, and challenges. The best sight is insight. And we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances, all there is. We are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And not the other way around, we're not the body. We're so much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have an infinite amount of help available to us from beyond the veil. So many entities of light and love. And today we take this beautiful time out to connect with the co-patron of the Casa, Dom Ignacio, St. Ignatius of Iola. And many of you remember this bust of him in the center of the Casa. And we are also celebrating today the 10th of March 19 years ago on this day I walked into the casa for the very first time and I had an epiphany if you like I just burst out crying and I didn't understand what I was feeling it was a coming home obviously and growing up we were always told not to cry, which is crazy, but that's how the conditioning was back in the day. So I was very surprised at this outburst. And I came to learn that tears are 1% water and 99% emotion. And when I went to the center of the casa and saw this bust, of course, Dom Ignacio is bawling, crying as well. And these are known as the Lagrimas de Cristo, the Tears of Christ. So it is a deep, deep cleansing when we connect with these tears. And as the years went by and I got to know Dom Ignacio, who I hadn't a notion who he was. He is St. Ignatius of Iola. I started learning about him. And every time he was present in Medium Gerard's body, there was a Mexican wave of crying in the casa, which was very, very obvious. Uh, people were releasing, cleansing and healing. And many people asked me, 
why were they crying for no apparent reason. So this energy is of an extraordinary high vibration. And many of the pictures of the saints, particularly Don Ignacio, have tears coming out of his eyes. Tears of consolation and connection with the divine. And as we get to know St. Ignatius of Viola, we come to learn that he was a soldier, pilgrim, mystic, healer and a leader. And he was the most improbable saint. And one who we can really relate to. He's a man who lived his life with great zeal and took great pleasure in the pursuit of the finer things in life. Wine, women, food, riches, gambling, you name it. Dom Ignacio did it. And he was a rather attractive and vain man, immensely stubborn and a fierce temper and a heightened sense of entitlement. And yet this man who lived over 500 years ago in Spain, he was born, he was filled at times with self-hatred and fear that God could not love him because of his many, many sins. But he came to know God's love and mercy. And he embraced a new life of humility, poverty and charity, which filled him with peace. And the latter part of his life was devoted to inspiring others to seriously concern themselves with their spiritual growth. He wrote the spiritual exercises when he retired into a cave in Manrasa, which is very much relevant to today's teaching on psychology. He was observing his emotions, which was a roller coaster of the human condition, which we all experience. And he was tempted to commit suicide in that cave. And he was very much on the edge of the river that ran just outside his cave. And he came to realize that taking his own life was not his choice. Only God can give and take life. So we are reminded of Dom Ignacio's humanness and the teachings that he imparts to all of us through his very presence. He was a very flawed human being. He did a lot of work over the years to really transform himself, encouraging us that there's always hope for us. He also fought in so many battles. He was a general in the army at a very young age and he was a killing machine. So we are reminded with all of the war in the world, the war in Ukraine, that there is an opportunity for peace. If Dom Ignacio could transform himself from sinner to saint, Certainly, we can pray for peace on earth. So in this sacred moment, as we bask in the highest of vibration of this extraordinary saint who is with us every step of the journey, we reach out to him now in our time of trial and need. He dedicated his life walking in the footsteps of our brother Jesus. And it was a long time before he came to this journey. He just didn't wake up overnight and was converted. It takes hard work, endurance, perseverance, faith, hope and love to walk the spiritual path with our brother Dom Ignacio, with us every step of the journey. And Jesus reminds us that when two or more are called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we navigate these difficult times on earth, may we try to see with the eyes of Christ. 
never see a need without doing something about it. Peace begins in our hearts and grows from them. And in Jesus' words, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. We ask Dom Ignacio to intercede for us, to bring our petition for peace to the feet of our brother Jesus. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trusting, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and all, always and in all ways, Lord. As we surrender to the will of God, thy will be done, not my will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, rather deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, whom Dom Ignacio revered and had visions of as he became more and more enlightened. And Dom Ignacio, in a vision to Medium Joao, instructed him to paint the case blue and white blew the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary. God painted the sky blue to comfort us and white the spectrum of all colours, embodying our chakras, the rainbow colours, helping us to realise that everything in the cosmos is interdependent, interrelated, created by God Almighty. In this sacred moment, we ask our Divine Mother Mary, whom Dom Ignacio surrendered his sword and his dagger, changing his entire way of life, leading by example, becoming a soldier for the Christ consciousness, taking up the sackcloth and walking in the footsteps of our brother Jesus and Mary. We ask her to intercede for us, her children, in our hour of need, in this valley of tears, as we go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the compassion, the love, the forgiveness, the humility, the faith, the hope, the light. The abundance, the gratitude deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, the light of the world. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us, your children, now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
for those who believe no words are necessary. For those who do not believe, no amount of words are sufficient. These words of Dom Ignacio written in Portuguese under his bust here in the centre of the Casa are so wise. I could tell you about the extraordinary miracles that I have witnessed over the last 19 years here. But if we don't have faith in a power bigger than ourselves, then I'm talking to the wind. And there are no coincidences, no accidents. We were all called to the casa in some form or another. If we didn't make the pilgrimage on foot, walking in through the casa gates as I did, then our picture was presented or even our name on a piece of paper. That is all that is required. The intention to ask for healing we always needed permission to show a picture, but we don't need permission to pray for our brothers and sisters. And there are extraordinary tales of Dom Ignacio, not only here in Abidjania, but making his presence felt all over the world. Many people recall to me of having dreams of a monk like figure. This was Dom Ignacio. And he was a complex character. And he learned to walk the path to let go of anything and everything that no longer served him. He was a fierce warrior. He killed a lot of people and he suffered great anguish over these sins. And he thought God would never forgive him. And as he walked his path, or rather limped, because his life changed, when a cannonball hit his leg in battle, fighting as a general in the army in Pamplona in the mid 1500s. And he had to retire to his castle. He was extremely wealthy, arrogant, vain, stubborn, and all he had to read, and he could read, he was of noble stature, was the imitation of Christ and the life of the saints. He was particularly taken by the valentry of Saint Francis of Assisi, who was also a soldier in battle, and became enlightened and surrendered everything for love of God. And Dom Ignacio's spiritual exercises are very relevant today. Dom Ignacio teaches us that two different spirits, completely opposed to one another, are active within the human condition. Light and darkness, truth and falsehood, Christ and the devil. We need the energy of Dom Ignacio more than ever now in these struggles, these battles here on earth. He is with us every step of the journey, all compassionate, all loving, And 
He started the Jesuits with his best friend, St. Francis Xavier, another incorporated entity of the Canada. To love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. And if Dom Ignacio teaches us anything, it is that nothing is impossible to God. He went from a cruel, vain, pompous, highly charged person to one of utter humility with faith in God. And he was very cosmic. He used to sit up in his rooms in Rome and look at the starry night sky and reminds us that the sky unites us. And he looked at all the stars and he said, there are my brothers all over the world, connected, together, united, reminding us that the entities know no borders, no boundaries, no time, no space. They are with us every step of the journey as we reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we receive everything we need and more for the journey. And Dom Ignacio reminds us that we need to be grateful for everything that we have, this gift of life we have been given, warts and all, and it's not an easy journey right now. We need to count our blessings and send out this beautiful high vibration to all beings that suffer on the earthly planes. And gratitude plants seeds of faith in our hearts and souls. So let us thank God for the opportunity through the power of Dom Ignacio to learn these hard lessons that we are faced with right here, right now. Giving thanks for this gift of creation, this life. And not to complain about anything. These are Dom Ignacio's words from his spiritual exercises. I look at my world. Everything cooperates to continue to give me life and strength. I look at the whole support system of air and water, warmth and coolness, light and darkness, all the produce of the earth, all the works of human hands, absolutely everything contributes to my well-being. I think of the people who have prayed for me and who love me. The whole communion of saints has interest in my salvation and actively works to try to help me. How can I respond to a God so good to me and surrounding me with the goodness of holy men and women and all the wonderful gifts of creation? All I can do is to give thanks, wondering at God's forgiving love, which continues to give me life up to this very moment. Amen.
Love ought to show itself in deeds, over and above words. Love consists in a mutual sharing of goods. God's love alone is the glue which must hold together and sustain us. These are Dom Ignacio's words. And when we look at our world now, we see a lack of love. For everything, our brothers and sisters, Mother Earth, and ourselves. Dom Ignacio is there to show us how to love. Over these past 19 years, on the anniversary of his liberation into the spirit world, which is the 31st of July, we always celebrated at the Casa this liberation and about 10 years ago, Dom Ignacio says, I'm calling all my children back together again under the banner of the Casa. I want 55 flags from all of the nations that are represented here. I'm calling my children. And this was done, there were flags all over the Casa de Dom Ignacio. And in five different languages was written as you walked into the main hall one by one, welcome sons and daughters from all over the world. People were having meltdowns left, right and centre. There was Mexican waves of crying and people were wondering why they were crying the tears of Christ. Releasing, cleansing, healing energy. The love of God brings us to our knees.
that we, each and every one of us, are children of God. And Dom Ignacio stands to remind us of this. We forget. We feel lost. We are all included in this invitation. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Dom Ignacio, like many of the Canada entities, works with the Christ consciousness, which has nothing to do with religion. It is the highest vibration we can ever experience. It's all about love, forgiveness, peace, joy, gratitude, humility, all the good stuff. We ask that Christ be reborn in every heart and soul on earth, right here, right now. Dom Ignacio, help us to achieve this. Nothing is impossible to God. We're already well on the way. As we rise above the chaos, pray for peace in our hearts and peace on earth through the power of the Christ Consciousness. The Anima Christi of Dom Ignacio. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Oh good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, shelter me. Never let me be parted from thee. From turning away, keep me. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my passing, call me into your presence. Lead me. Never let me be parted from you so that I may praise you with all of your saints forever and ever. Amen.
These are the words of Dr. Augusto de Almeida, offered a few years ago. To remind us of the power of St. Ignatius at the Casa. Dom Ignacio is the light that comes through. Faith and concentration moves the energy to bring through the light. Dom Ignacio oversees all the interventions at the Casa and worldwide. He oversees and protects everything. You sons and daughters of the Casa make a circle of concentration through the current that brings in the light for the practice of good. To make a circle of light for the practice of good is easy and necessary for the evolvement of humanity. God bless your faith, sons and daughters of the Casa. Make no bones about it. The energy of the Casa is growing daily. The portal is wide open. The more chaos that seems to be happening around the world, the brighter the light that is coming from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio. So let us relax into our bodies now and receive this light, keeping our eyes closed to the end of the work. Our intention is all we need to receive. Breathe slowly, gently, easily. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize the waterfall at the Casa, where Dom Ignacio's bust is looking skyward, praising God. Or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light. We are ascending. This is not easy work. We're experiencing growing pains. Stay with it. We are not alone. Dom Ignacio is with us and his enormous flange of light workers. We were born for this work. We're getting there in God's time. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise happily, generously serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant. Roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you, which is easy for some of us. And in particular, right here, right now, bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. Not so easy. This is the work we came here on earth to do in this lifetime. And we've been here so many times before. And we've been with Tom Ignacio in his lifetime. There's no coincidences, no accidents. We're all children of God working together. As we raise our vibration right here and now, we naturally in turn raise the vibration of the entire planet so everyone wins. So just let go of anything that's not from the light. You're in a safe place, you've nothing to fear. Nothing can harm a hair on your head. God is with us. 
let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling. And there's so many of our brothers and sisters who are feeling suicidal, depressed, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, angry, frustrated, homeless. Everyone deserves a roof over their head. The children of the world, they're innocent. They don't need to suffer. My brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of God, no exceptions. And in this sacred moment, let's send this brilliant love light gushing from the portal of the chasm into all war zones, anywhere there's suffering, into the Ukraine now, multiplying this love light, wakening our brothers and sisters up. God is the ultimate power, bringing peace, waves and waves of peace, lifting the vibration of the planet to the majesty of the kingdom of God. Anything is possible to God. And let's bring medium Joao into this high vibration and anyone who is struggling or who is suffering on account of the problems of the chasm. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not and as we receive this beautiful high vibration from on high pouring into our open hearts let's really feel these crystal clear waters penetrating deep deep into our souls taking away all miasmas all discomfort dis-ease and disharmony in all of our bodies mental physical emotional spiritual anything everything that no longer serves us letting it all go flowing away from us transmuting all denser energies into divine light showering down blessings new energy filling us up pouring into our crown chakras fortifying us nourishing us protecting us loving us for this earthly journey as we emerge cleansed healed renewed refreshed reborn into the light the core of our being standing smiling sparkling happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends no more enemies no grudges there's no need we're all in this together children of god standing smiling sparkling happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends We are one. Never forget this. We ask for Dominic Nassio's blessing right here, right now. I ask the one who is the source of this day, like a son of wisdom and justice, to carry through in his great generosity what he has begun in you until his work reaches fulfillment. Displaying the richness of his omnipotent hand and his infinite splendor in the spiritual gifts within your minds and your hearts and through you in those of many, many other brothers and sisters. Through God, I ask you also to make yourselves open for his coming and his spiritual treasures. In the name of our brother Jesus and the teachings of the Christ consciousness. Amen.
as we bask and rejoice in this highest of vibrations pouring from the portal of the casa into our open hearts right here right now and as the Christ consciousness is reborn in every heart and soul on earth growing expanding multiplying it's only a matter of time before a new earth is birthed we are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us to take part in this rebirthing by dedicating ourselves to this collective consciousness doing no harm multiplying our love light on earth receiving these graces from the portal of the Casa de Dom Ignacio the house of love where the medicine is love taking this leap of faith together we're well on the path the future holds nothing but goodness and love light we are ascending experiencing growing pains God is with us we may lose a few battles but we are winning the war and thank you God Almighty for sending all of your messengers of love so many angels guardian angels archangels Saint Michael is with us with this sword of light invincible battling side by side with us ascended masters unseen beings elevated spirits and these phenomenal entities of light and love so many they too have bodies once or twice they know all about the human condition they know all about the dark night of the soul they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need multiplying the Christ consciousness on earth and our brother Dom Ignacio Saint Ignatius of Iola with us walking in the footsteps of Jesus carrying us on this journey of the heart which is why we're on earth we are not alone we have an infinite army of light workers working with us from beyond the veil phalanges and phalanges we are one and thank you God for sending our brother Jesus the light of the world Prince of Peace who is returning to earth in every heart and soul and our Divine Mother Mary the Queen of Peace their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears helping us to wake up to our divine essence we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around we're not the body we're much more than we could ever imagine and we have lessons to learn down here and they're not easy right now we're in the school of life and life passes quickly in the blink of an eye and we've been here so many times before We will triumph. When the lessons are learned, our earthly lives are over. We will be liberated into their open arms with all of these holy beings in the celestial fields where there's no more suffering and no more pain. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together in this wonderful, solemn hour or so, this collective consciousness. One family.
candles on the path. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, and it takes guts to step into the light, our very essence, to walk this path with these holy beings. Ascension is not easy. We were born for this work. Take heart. Thank you for your faith, your hope, your patience, your humility, your grit, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God. Written on the walls of the Entities Room in English and Portuguese, the motto of the Jesuits, the company of Jesus. Dom Ignacio, St. Francis Xavier. Love and service for the greater glory of God. Faith moves mountains and your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you and Mother Earth. And your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. Make no mistake about it. Keep going. You're doing a great job. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the warriors of the light. Rise up. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Nothing can harm a hair on our head. Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. God's love is infinite, pouring forth like a fountain, streaming forth its waters in an unending stream. Never see a need without doing something about it. We're all in this together. We rise by lifting others, our brothers and sisters on the path. We're just walking each other home. Stay elevated, you're doing an incredible job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let us pray with open hearts without ceasing, trustingly, faithfully, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers have been answered always and in all ways as we surrender to the will of God. And when you think you've surrendered enough, surrender some more. We asked Dom Ignacio, the king of surrendering. He surrendered his sword and his dagger to Our Lady in Montserrat in Spain, leading by example, changing his entire way of life, showing us that we must change. We must plant seeds of peace in our hearts. Fear is a thief of our peace. Choose love in each and every moment. Yes, we have a choice. Let go as we pray together with Dom Ignacio. Lord Jesus Christ, take and receive all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish, you have given me with love and with love I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love and your wealth 
are enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus Christ. And I ask for nothing more. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.